Hi ladies, so I'm here to update you on the unfortunate news of um, another miscarriage. So I had recently found out that I was pregnant and it was um, on 10 DPO that I had saw a feet line, 11 DPO, I was definitely seeing the line, and then um, on 12 DPO, it was getting darker, I had called my midwife, and I had my progesterone and um, HCG tested, and my progesterone came back at 27, which was right in the middle, between 9 and 47, I believe, of, you know, the range, and so I was above where they wanted me to be, and my HCG was 38, and that happened to be on, I believe it was a Thursday, so I couldn't get my blood drawn on Saturday, because typically you get it drawn within 48 hours, so um, we just said, well, we'll just get it drawn Monday. So I got it drawn Monday, which was my eight-year anniversary, and um, on Tuesday, which was uh, uh, 16 or 17 DPO, which was a Tuesday. So I got the blood drawn on 16 DPO, and then on 17 DPO, I got the call back, and I was talking with her, and she just said, well, unfortunately your numbers aren't doubling like we expected and she was just trying to confirm if she had the right number and double looking at the test and my ACG had actually dropped to 34 and when she told me that I was like oh my gosh again are you serious it's like exactly what happened last time even though I did get my ACG levels tested but it was like all within that same time frame because I was taking tests and the lines were getting lighter and I was in the bathroom at work and I was like oh my gosh how am I going to get through the rest of the day um I don't know how I did it but I just kind of was like I just have to do it I just got to finish my day I went and treated patients um was able to kind of joke and make conversation I can't believe that um and that night I was just kind of like in a funk. Um, I just knew that, well, it's just a matter of time now. Just kind of waiting it out. And um, and today is the 19th of June. I went in because she told me to come in. Well, let's just get our, the blood drawn one more time. So... Um, I went and got my blood drawn. We just kind of talked about everything with regards to my MTHFR and kind of, you know, just kind of threw back and forth thoughts on everything. And we just kind of decided to, um, have me get referred out to get some genetic testing done through a high risk doctor just to kind of look at things more in depth to see if there might be some other things kind of going on and part of me is like I don't even know if I want to know genetic stuff because what if something does come back you know is it going to scare me into getting pregnant because I think I have such and such a chance of a developing a baby with this disorder or this chromosome defect I mean I don't know if I want to know all that so but I do want to address some things with MT you know the MTHFR because I think that does have some impact on it and um, you know she kind of thought well maybe we'll just do some next time we'll do baby aspirin um, and possibly progesterone just as a precautionary measure so um, today right after I got done with my appointment I go to work go to the bathroom and I noticed I was starting to spot. And I was like, okay, here we go. Um, I just prayed I could get through my work day before everything started happening because I was only, only going to do four hours today. So I saw all my patients. Um, 
had just so much more compassion on people. Um, I was working with uh, some at the in the hospital with pediatric patients and then some women who just had uh, some babies. So it was, you know, around that whole thing. <laughs> but, you know, my co-workers, I ended up telling them kind of like, hey, I'm probably going to have to leave anytime. I don't know. It's just, I think things are going to happen. I'm miscarrying. And I felt comfortable telling them and I feel like I just got so much support and then s s a couple women kind of said, you know, I went through a couple of them and I know so-and-so who went through one and um, just just a lot of like, oh, Nicola, I'm so sorry. And just, it was just really comforting. I really needed that to kind of get through my work day is just people were kind of on my side and just rooting me along and they're kind of like, how are you here right now? You know, but it made me feel better to be working and just live and to be there in life. And, you know, I said, you know, I I may act okay right now, but when I'm at home, I'm just kind of like in a funk. And I'm just, blah. It's, it's like I'm just moping around, it seems like, but... Anyway, so I saw my patients and I started documenting everything and then I started feeling more crampy and I was like, I need to get out of here. I need to get this done. I uh, got to my car and bam, it was like all these back cramps just like last time and I was like, well, I want to get home and put on my, I'm looking for it, my Easton machine, which is a, um, here it is, my TENS unit. And I put on the electrodes on my back and it helped me with the back pain because it was like back labor sensation. So I put that on there, took a couple Advil and started passing some things, but it wasn't as much as my last miscarriage. Um, and had my husband... Um, pick up my son and then my in-laws kind of came over to take care of my son for us the night so I could just kind of sleep and whatever so I have been just kind of just thinking like you know I've gone through spurts over these past few days ever since I found out that I was going to miscarry and I would be crying in the car, crying out for my baby. I would just be just letting it all out. And then there'd be other times where, you know, I'm just, don't feel like saying anything. Where it feels better to just get out my emotions and my thoughts and talking even like this feels healing. And, um... And right now, I'm, I'll be honest, where I'm at right now is I am on a mission and I want to figure out what's going on. And I know people say, well, it's nothing that you could have prevented, you know, in a way it's like it's not your fault type of thing. And I agree with that, but I do know that I have a blood clotting disorder and it makes me wonder if I would have done aspirin, but now I know I talked to my midwife and um, she was like, once you get done with this miscarriage, just get on baby aspirin and just stay on it. And so, kind of taking that precautionary measure, you know, right up out of the get-go. And what have I been doing all day? I've been on the internet all day researching about MTHFR. Um, and I'm looking more in-depth with my wellness profile that I had done earlier this year and I'm coming up positive for all the things that um, put you at more risk. I am showing a lot of inflammation in my body and um, I'm just ready to get my diet and get my life in order in that sense. I, I want to clean up my diet. Um, I want to cut out gluten if I need to, cut out dairy if I need to, um, just to decrease inflammation in my body. And, uh, you know, I just want to get my body working the way it needs to. And I want to get testing done. 
um, in the sense of finding out if there's anything else. Um, there's a girl that does a blog in THFR Living that I am very encouraged by reading a lot of neat articles. And then the most exciting thing that I found tonight was there is a doctor nearby who um, wrote this huge article about preconception and how to optimize your health um, before you have a baby. And he does all these tests on women just to kind of even like seeing the toxicity with like metals in your body. I mean, and I am just like, finally, a medical doctor with the initials MD is leaning over into prevention and leaning over into, you know, healing the body, you know, by optimizing it, by giving what it needs so that it can function properly versus just treating sickness all the time, but seeing preventative health as a benefit. And so I was just so encouraged to find him, even though I have to drive an hour and 45 minutes away. I'm like, whatever, I want to do what, what, whatever I can find out. And it may seem obsessive, and this is my way to kind of deal with this, but I just don't want to go through this again. And, um... <sighs> I'm just so thankful for my son and the miracle of him and for having him. And if that's all that I have, that's... I'm just... It just really... <sighs> It just makes me so thankful for what I've already been given. And, um... I was not prepared to do that here. <laughs> but... I feel like this is, like, the kickstart to really shaping up my life the way that I have longed for for so long. I've longed to eat organically, grow my own garden, just do things that I've been holding out on, cooking my own food more instead of eating out all the time, you know, exercising. I just want to be healthy. I'm tired of feeling so tired and just kind of depressed about things. And um, I'm just being like really real. It's a very vulnerable day. So... You know, I always wonder, is this the best day to do this? But it's the most real. And if somebody can be encouraged by this, you're not alone. And the more that you open up about it, I'm realizing it's healing. And, um... It's good to let out emotion. It's good to let out anger and 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 joy and and frustration and sadness and it's it's good to just process all the emotions that encompass the whole journey of pregnancy and then if it happens with loss, it's just good to live. It's good to live. I'm tired of holding everything in, in life in general, but <sighs> I'm just going to focus on me and getting myself healthy and getting myself the way it needs to be. The best that I can. I mean, I know so much of this is... This could hardly... This could be non-related to the MTHFR. I will be up front. It could be. But... I... I want to be proactive in what I can be proactive in. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm on a mission. And, um... I I will kind of post updates as I feel necessary, but I'm interested to see how this journey is going to go. So, 
thanks for tuning in and um, any prayers would be greatly appreciated at this time so blessings to you all good night